Alright guys, so I know I promised I was going to give you guys another type of video this week but the market has been eventful and don't worry guys, next week <laughs> that new video is going to come out next week. Alright, so for this week we're going to continue with the market review and then we're going to talk about what has been going on in the market and then we're going to be talking about um, a few projects that some of you told me to take a look at. So we're going to be taking a look at them and then we're going to be seeing where the opportunities lie in them for the near term and also for the long term as well. So Bitcoin definitely crashed this week but you know it's not really that much of a bit crash but it definitely did you can see in the past 24 hours bitcoin has been down by seven percent ethereum has been down by ten percent and cardano down by seven percent but at least in the top 10 ethereum is the one within the last 24 hours that is down the most all right but in the past seven days solana has been the one down the most by 23 percent and we're going to be taking a look at that as well now you guys remember how or remember what i say i feel about solana i feel it's going to crash down to much lower levels and with bitcoin coming down in price which I sort of anticipated we definitely can see solana crash even more than it has crashed so far all right so let's take a look at bitcoin of course so with bitcoin we can clearly see bitcoin is currently we still within that channel just broke out of it a little bit you can see um last week when i made the video i told you guys that bitcoin was currently at the top of this channel meaning that we could see it turn around and start going down in price and obviously what happened next was that it starts coming down in price and then now we are currently at the end of the bottom of this channel and even broke below it a little bit all right so could this mean that we are going to start seeing from here on out bitcoin starts crashing down to much lower numbers of fifteen thousand dollars or even twelve thousand dollars well in the coming weeks we are definitely going to see what happens for real but right now looking at the chart and at the price and looking at what the candlesticks are doing bitcoin right now has broken below this support right remember i told you guys that this is a bearish move where bitcoin moves in a channel upwards and then before you know it boom the price breaks down and starts going down in price i told you the market did that back in may and certainly right now this move seems to be in play but we will need a few more days to actually tell what really happens next but right now it seems like bitcoin is gonna start going down from here so with that being said what should you do now all right so like i've always said with this strategy and with the history of bitcoin's price crashes we could see bitcoin in this bear market crash all the way to twelve thousand dollars so definitely have a buy limit set at around twelve thousand dollars but you don't need to go that low you can even come set a buy limit at nineteen thousand dollars and you can also set another buy limit at fifteen thousand dollars and then set another one at twelve thousand dollars all right like i said we would need a few more days or a couple of weeks to actually fully determine what the market is doing but like i said right now the market seems to be beginning its second leg to the downside all right guys so let's take a look at atom now atom is another great cryptocurrency that um aside cardano i really like as well because they offer great staking rewards as well and it's also a good cryptocurrency just like algorand as well but even though bitcoin right now seems to you know be in a very very bearish move right now atom seems to be doing the opposite at least right now so if we do not see a lot of selling pressure on bitcoin in the coming weeks we definitely can see atom even from present prices push all the way to $14 and even probably all the way to $17 before we see any significant retracement all right so what am I saying here I'm saying you can buy Atom right now buying Atom even at present prices of $10 is still a great price but certainly if we see Bitcoin crash much lower in price to like let's say $19,000 or even start crashing even close to $15,000 we definitely could see Atom revisit its lowest price so far of $6 all right so so that would definitely be a very great opportunity as well to buy some atom um, remember this cryptocurrency is to be worth like 45 dollars in the height of the bull run right and this is also a staking cryptocurrency that offers you one of the highest rewards at almost 20 percent return per annum all right so buying it at even lower prices and then staking it when the market or when the bull market resumes we will definitely see this cryptocurrency surpass 40 dollars or even if it doesn't even get to its previous high of 40 dollars all right you'll be getting a much more greater return from it because 
it's going to be at a much higher price and you'll be able to accumulate as much as you can and that's definitely going to make you a good amount of passive income in the future so accumulating at home is certainly a good move and like i said if we don't see a lot of um, bearish pressure for bitcoin that means if you don't see it trying to push down so much we definitely can see atom get all the way to 14 dollars in the near term and probably even 17 dollars as well also in the near term all right so let's talk about chain link now um this one is also another one that um, got to its target of nine dollars and then predictably it turned around and then started coming back down to where i actually bought the dip of seven dollars now if you bought it at seven dollars that was still a great buy but we probably could also still see it fall even lower and if we certainly see bitcoin crash all the way to nineteen thousand dollars and probably even lower we definitely can see chain link fall back all the way to six dollars all right so if you're looking to buy chain link at even a much lower price consider doing so at six dollars and obviously once we start recovering again or if bitcoin um, miraculously starts recovering again back into the high 20s we definitely could see chainly come back all the way to nine dollars again so that would also be a good place to take some profit if you intend to do so all right so let's talk about ethereum um this is another one that um i was anticipating that we bought the dip at one thousand eight hundred dollars um i certainly bought the dip at one thousand eight hundred dollars but because of bitcoin actually crashed in price which i've been saying for a while now that we're going to see bitcoin come down in price um we certainly saw ethereum crashed by a lot in price all right so ethereum currently sits at 1600 dollars and i am saying that right now if you would like to buy ethereum at an even much cheaper price consider doing so again at 1400 dollars if you guys remember we didn't get that opportunity we only got the opportunity to buy ethereum at 1400 dollars once and then we didn't get it again until it got all the way to 2000 dollars so if you like to buy bitcoin again i'm sorry if you like to buy ethereum again consider doing so at one thousand four hundred dollars because if we see bitcoin continue to come down in price we definitely can see ethereum visit one thousand four hundred dollars again all right so let's take a look at um, avalanche so just like atom um avalanche is also another one that isn't ready to actually really go down in price and in fact is prepared to actually go up in price so if we do not see any um a ton of selling pressure for bitcoin to go to much lower prices um even if bitcoin remains a little bit stagnant we definitely could see avalanche start heading higher in price and like i said previously buying it at 24 dollars or even 25 dollars is a good price not to even talk of now that we are sitting at 22 dollars so if you would like to get into avalanche Avalanche, definitely get into it now and then consider taking some profit at 36 dollars because we could see it turn around a little when it gets there but for now avalanche isn't ready to go much lower in prices in fact it's preparing to head higher in prices but like i said bitcoin or like i always say bitcoin controls the rest of the market whatever bitcoin does the rest of the market will just you know have to do so if we see bitcoin starts crashing much lower in price in the coming few days or in the coming weeks we certainly can see avalanche revisit its low again of 15 dollars all right so if you're looking to buy avalanche at a much lower price well you're going to get your chance again at doing so at 15 dollars all right guys so let's take a look at um solana now if you guys remember um I was talking about this and saying that we could see Solana hit fifty dollars before we start. We started moving lower, but we didn't quite get to fifty dollars. All right, so instead we have started to move lower. Remember what I said about Solana? Um, it was in this channel which was basically uh, mimicking just what Bitcoin was doing, and I said that with this particular type of strategy, which is the same thing I said for Bitcoin, is that people are deceived into thinking that the market is going up in price, but it's just kind of trapping people into thinking the market will continue going up in price so we are contained within this smooth channel all right so you can see we never exceeded the top of this channel we never exceeded the bottom of this channel so we keep going up in price and then before you know it boom the price starts crashing back down and going down much faster and i see that happening right now with solana so for those of us who are interested in buying solana at lower prices we could see with this move right now that solana has certainly broken below this um support right just like how bitcoin has currently done so 
we definitely could see Solana head all the way back down to $23, okay? And probably even head lower than that, right? So we have the coming weeks to see what happens, all right? All right, so let's take a look at Shiba Inu. Um, you guys know how I feel about Shiba Inu and what I've been saying about the price that it was going to pump up very, very soon. It was very, very imminent based on a particular pattern that I saw playing out in the chat. And what do you know, all right? You can definitely see that we saw Shiba Inu pull, push up in price by up to, I think, 30%. Um, this this whole move in a day was like 30 percent right it pushed all the way to um around 0 0.00001792 all right but right after that we saw it start turning back around and certainly um the bitcoin crash in price certainly didn't help as well but um if you guys remember i told you guys that we um the target for for shiba inu is 0 0.00002139 and i said that in um a couple of videos ago if you've not watched that video i'm going to leave it at the top right corner of your screen or in the description below you can definitely check it out where i said it so if you're one of the people who actually bought shiba inu there's no need for you to get out of the market except if you want to i still see shiba inu getting all the way to that target of 0 0.00002139 right so if you didn't buy shiba inu then and you would like to buy shiba inu now shiba inu is like practically at around the same price that um i called it back then so basically it's back at the entry price meaning that if you would like to get into shiba inu now is the second opportunity for you to actually get into shiba inu right now so meaning that it has basically crashed back down to where it started from it's like right back down to its beginning again so you can buy it and then ride it all the way to 0 0.00002139 that is a mouthful so anyways that's it for shiba inu and let's move on now let's take a look at um one of the cryptocurrencies that one of you guys told me to take a look at shout out to crypto Jima, by the way um this is v chain and right now uh we can see v chain came all the way from its low of 0 0.02 basically two cents and in the recent weeks it went all to its high of three cents all right but right now including with the um, crash that bitcoin had we can see vchain is back at 2.6 cents right that is 0 0.0026 which is 2.6 cents so if you like to get into vchain honestly right now at these prices at 2.6 cents is a very great spot to buy vchain or if we see bitcoin crash much lower in price we definitely could see a 2.2 cents vchain all right so consider buying it at either present price or 0 0.02 two which is basically 2.2 cents right so consider doing so at that price or at present prices either it's fine honestly and then if you're holding this for the long term i also see vchain as a great cryptocurrency as well although it's not my biggest um, bag to hold but the advantage with its price right now is that with as little money that you have with the little money that you have you can buy a ton of it all right so which means that in the future when it gets to even 50 cents or even one dollar or probably more you know you will make a ton of returns from it so it's definitely something to hold for the long term and if you're looking to buy the dips we are at perfect prices right now of 2.6 cents and even a much better price at 2.2 cents but honestly like i said if you're holding for the long term either prices right now there's no much difference in either prices and you're still getting a ton of v chain with the little cash that you have anyways so that's my thought about that and right on to gala um still from crypto dreamer um so um gala is also another one that seems to be heading to its low right now um we came all the way from 4.6 cents and went all the way to 7 cents right um which is 0 0.07 just so i don't confuse you guys so we came all the way from 0 0.04 and then went all the way to 0 0.07 but that was a resistance and it was a good place to actually sell gala honestly 0 0.07 but if you're looking to buy the dip for gala you certainly should be looking to do so at 0 0.046 all right that would be a great spot for you to buy gala and if you're looking to hold this cryptocurrency for the long term certainly consider buying it at 
the much lower prices because you'll be getting a better deal out of it but one thing with the advantages of um the with the advantage of all these cryptocurrencies is that with the prices that they are in right now you can get as many as you want with the little cash that you have right so if you have like 20 dollars or even a hundred dollars you can get like a ton of it okay but i'm not saying that these cryptocurrencies are probably gonna hit one dollar or even five dollars or even ten dollars but if a project is a good project you know it will always go up in price so it's just to keep accumulating it at much lower prices and i believe that gala is also a good project as well but it's definitely not my biggest holding of course but it's still one that is a good project and if you're looking to buy the dip 0.046 is a great spot to buy gala all right so taking a look at um algorand um it's the same um thing just like gala we're moving to much lower prices right now and we're currently at 30 cents right now but we could see um algorand visit 28 cents and if bitcoin falls lower we definitely could see algorand visit 20 cents all right so if you're looking to buy um algorand um buy the dip for algorand consider doing so at either 28 cents or if you think bitcoin is actually going to get down to fifteen thousand dollars or twelve thousand dollars twenty cents algorand is definitely something that we could definitely see and remember guys this um cryptocurrency came all the way from three dollars so if in the next bull run they keep doing their thing and they get stronger and they accumulate more fans um we definitely could see it get back to those highs so buying it even at these prices which is at this point 90 percent off you're definitely buying or getting it at a bargain all right so let's take a look at slp um now um the same pattern that i saw playing out on bitcoin or that i see playing out on bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies it is the exact same pattern i see playing out here as well um you seem to be having this bearish move for slp right now and right now i must say guys this cryptocurrency has fallen so much in price so if you think it's um a great cryptocurrency you believe in the project honestly buying it at even today's price is a great spot to buy it out all right at this point the price is in pennies right now so consider buying it at present prices or if you want to buy it at much lower prices because of this pattern that is playing out right now we could definitely see it head to much lower prices we could consider buying it at 0.003 and also buying it again at 0.001 this is like pennies right now so if you like to buy slp these prices are great for you to buy it at and setting a buy limit at these prices will certainly help you accumulate much more than you would getting it at today's price all right so um uh, let's take a look at crypto.com um token as well so crypto.com for those of you who don't know is a crypto exchange and just like how binance has bnb crypto.com has cro all right which is their crypto.com token now um obviously crypto.com is not as big as binance but during the bull run they were actually really really doing well but now their prices are much lower than it was before so right now we are at 12 cents for crypto.com and the exact same pattern that i see playing out in bitcoin slp and a few others is the exact same pattern that i see playing out in cro as well so if we're looking to buy cro at much lower prices certainly do so at 10 cents which is 0.1 and consider doing so at 60 cents as well so these are definitely great prices for you to buy um cro in now taking a look at mask another one that one of you guys told me to look at as well um this one i would say if you want to buy mask now is a good time to buy it in fact mask is in its lowest low it has ever been since the beginning of the project all right so buying it right now at one dollars and 34 cents is a great spot to buy it at all right and then obviously if we see bitcoin fall lower because mask has never fallen any lower than this price right now we definitely could see mask head lower to like one dollars probably even 50 cents i don't really know much about this project but by just by looking at the chart i can definitely see that we have never fallen much lower than this so it's in its lowest low it has ever fallen in the entire history of the project so if you want to buy mask this is a great spot to buy mask okay if there was ever a great time to buy it at you're basically buying it at the beginning of the project at this point because this is the lowest it has ever fallen now if you're looking to take some profit definitely look at taking some profit at three dollars and 70 cents that is definitely a great spot to take some profit so 
buying some mask right now at present prices okay and then waiting for it to get all the way to three dollars that's like a 175 percent return that's a great buy even at present prices like i said this is the lowest it has ever fallen and it has been hitting this low since may of 2022 all right so for a couple of months now it has been touching this low ever since it first touched it in 12th of may right it has been hitting it it hit it again in 13th of june it hit it again in um 12th of july and then we are hitting it again now in 20th of august so for the past three months it has been hitting this low of one dollar and 30 cents so if you're buying it now or if you ever thought of buying it now is a great spot or a great time to buy it and then the next place to take some profit is at three dollars and 70 cents which is like a 175 percent move from here so definitely do that if you're interested in buying mask like i said now is a perfect time to get into it all right guys that's it for this episode of market review now if you guys will notice that i didn't take a look at some of the other ones that i took a look at last week that's because most of them are doing exactly what um i said they were gonna do so no need covering them again and rehashing them and some of them were kind of still stagnant so i'll definitely be taking a look at them again next week or in the next episode if something interesting happens with them but these are the ones that i found interesting plus the ones that some of you guys told me to take a look at and like i said if you guys want me to take a look at any cryptocurrency that you're interested in or where to buy the dip take some profits and do all that cool stuff definitely let me know in the comment section down below for more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video as well share the video with people who you think need to see it or might be interested in seeing it as well and if there's any video in particular that you guys will want me to make definitely let me know as well in the comment section down below and next week barring any crazy interesting thing that's happening in the market i definitely will be releasing a different type of video for you guys for those of you who don't watch this type of videos don't worry next week i'll have something different for you guys to take a look at so that's it for this video and thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week all right cheers